Hello, my friends. It's Murder Inc. We're talking about Diablo 4 today. We gotta have a sit down about this season. What the hell have they done to Barbarians? Now, if I told anybody that season one or preseason, they'd be like, I know, man, Barbarians are in such a bad spot. It really feels bad. But we flipped that spectrum instantly. If you haven't checked out my last guide, even if you don't want to play it, just look at it. I've been playing with necromancers, rogues, druids, sorceress. None of them are coming close. In fact, I wish I was recording at the time. Half the time I group with random people for events, they will type in chat, WTF, where did this objective just go? And I said, my bad, I'm level at the time 58, critting for 2 million damage. AOE, by the way. AOE, in the level 50s, 2 million damage. So, yeah, we have to talk about this because I'm against nerfs like 99% of the times, but I do think this build will probably get nerfed because overpower is just too strong right now. It really is too strong right now. Do I want them to nerf it? No, because I don't think they can nerf it properly. But if you want to build for Barbarian, that scales to the moon with zero downsides, literally bossing, speed, AOE, single target, top tier, top, top tier. And I kind of mentioned this in my last video and I didn't mean to throw shade. I mean, I kind of did, but if anyone speculated barbarians are going to be one of the worst classes in season two, they don't know the game that well. Because everything from the experienced players that I talked to pointed to them being the best or one of the best classes in the entire game and uh look what happened like i said a million damage below level 40 1.5 after level 40 level 50s 2 million and now that i'm 60 we're pushing 3 million damage aoe is that's a lot maybe other classes are doing that none of the people i've played with that are playing other classes are doing that i'm helping them with pretty much everything in the game right now because of how busted this is so where did this go wrong and that's kind of what i want to talk about i mean i say go wrong but like good job blizzard you did it right so we're stacking overpower damage here but the thing is usually they're diminishing returns with the stat like this now let me ask you after seeing the number of overpower damage without any conditionals applied to it, which means this number goes higher when I'm in combat, do you think there's a DR for this damage? The answer is like probably. There probably is a diminishing return effect for overpower damage. Have I seen it yet? No. Literally every time I add more overpower damage, my number goes up a substantial amount. I don't think this is intended. I really don't. And I'm, I have a sword here and another sword here. So I'm missing, if you look at the top where it says 11.7% critical strike damage, that should be 48.8% overpower damage. And the same thing here, 32.5% critical damage should be an insane amount of overpower damage. And yeah, I don't really know how to wrap my head around this. I don't trust that they're going to fix this properly, but enjoy this while we can. Now I'd be thinking murder whistleblower they're gonna watch your bit they're not watching my videos if they if blizzard had been watching my videos we would have had the greatest class in the game because i've given enough feedback to make this the best class in the game with like realistic ways to change everything like just realistic not like oh this build sucks make it do better i was like no fix x y and z which will buff q and it will work in the formula. So if they had really been watching my content and considered nerfing anything based on what I've said here, the game would be in a much better spot. No, I mean, it, I'm not, this is not a flex. I'm, I have people that I talk with who are brilliant in the theory crafting game that I'm lucky to have as part of my inner circle. They do testing all the time, starting at like level 20, 30, just testing every possible interaction. Because if you rush to end game and you start testing with this giga gear, you're wrong often. You've seen it with other content creators many times. They kind of shoot up to 100 and then start testing things and like, oh, this is OP. And it's like, well, your gear is OP and you're doing content for the first time that you should have done at level 60 and 70, but you, you rushed past it to go for the, like the race. So that's kind of where I'm going with this. And uh, yeah, so I'm 
a little bit nervous about the future because I don't think this is going to go under the radar at all. I'm pretty sure they already understand how this is working here. So let's just kind of talk about what I'm talking about. Extra damage granted to skills when they overpower. Further increase the moment of impact based on your maximum life and fortify amount. So we're barbarians, right? Our maximum life and fortify are 100% within two seconds of combat. So we're getting that instant double damage or the highest damage threshold possible with the multiplier as soon as we overpower. Next includes inherit increases damage by overpowers based on your current life up to 50% multiplicative when at maximum life, which we always are because we're tanky. The total damage dealt scales with the skill that overpowers, which is why I will say one thing about the, the build I made before. I'm currently using Hammer of the Ancients. Hammer of the Ancient is not the hardest hitting skill in the game. The hardest hitting skill in the game currently is, where are we? Where are we? Upheaval. Yes, Upheaval. This is a build that was doing roughly 600,000 more overpower damage than Hammer of the Ancients at level 51. 600,000. That is a massive, massive difference, mostly because this 12x multiplicative that Hemomancy gives you full stacks instantly all the way to six. So because of that, you can see stupid numbers. I'm going to, once I get Hellhammer, I'm going full send on that for sure. But until then, the thing is, Hammer of the Engines is so fast, I cannot put upheaval above it at the moment, maybe with Hellhammer, like I said. But as of right now, Hammer of the Engines is like, you're doing insane damage at a thousand miles an hour. You just hit and move on. Hit, hit, hit. Everything just dies in one hit. It's kind of crazy. So this kind of gets you and gets me curious being in this mid-game stage at level 66. As I'm going to keep blasting, farming gear, all of that good stuff. Where is the future for this? Am I out of touch? Are other classes doing the same damage as this? None of the ones I've seen. Maybe I'm just playing with bad players. Maybe all of the good players are level 80 and 90. Although technically, with the leveling strategy I did, I should have better gear, better pretty much everything than them at this point, since they only spammed the dungeon all the way up, and they're very behind on resources compared to what I am. The fact that I'm choosing to hoard all of my resources and not waste aspects isn't because I'm running low. It's because my damage is so high. I don't need to touch anything. So why invest into something that is working perfectly fine and you're not using half of your aspects, which is why when I released the build planner, I said, listen, if you can copy this build planner identically to all of the aspects that I have on for all of these slots, you are going to do damage that you're going to start questioning your existence because it is that powerful. And again, another thing in this build, I'm not even using vulnerable damage. So I don't have all of these vulnerable multipliers. I'm just not applying vulnerable at all. And we're critting for 3 million damage. I know I keep saying that, but maybe it's more shocking to me than others. But that's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot of damage. No matter how you look at it, it's a lot of damage for sure. So that's going to be my kind of basic rundown of this video. I really am concerned. Brute force, again, this is something that we never considered getting on a necklace. Now we can get it on a necklace and... If you look at the scaling going up by 15% multiplicative damage per point, and now we can add three to our necklace, yeah, we, we have a few things to discuss in the uh, balancing department for sure here. So the question is, what are they going to do or what can they do to overpower? That's kind of the main point of this video on top of Barbarians being probably the best class in Season 2. So I'm curious about your guys' feedback. What do you think they should do with overpower damage? Should they add a hard cap to this? I don't think that's the way to go, but they could do that. If they add a hard cap, it's going to force us to hit the caps in crit damage, vulnerable damage. But then it goes back to the same kind of gearing gameplay loop I don't think they want. So maybe that's not the right way to approach this. If it was me. Blizzard, if for some reason you end up watching this video, if it was me, get rid of the chance. I don't want to, this is going to be so hard to do. Make it so barbarians cannot roll overpower damage as a secondary stat. 
if you get rid of that, you're going to force us to use and explore other avenues to boost our overpower damage. And I think it'll be good for the game. I really do. Because at the moment, we're stacking, like, you should never do this. It's fun, don't get me wrong, but you should never see over a thousand, two hundred percent of any stat on a build. So we went from infinitely stacking crit damage to vulnerable to now infinitely stacking just overpower, which you can do with insane success. Now, maybe it's time for overpower to shine. It's been so bad for so long. They really want people to use it. They let it go this broken for this long, and then they balance it down the road. I'm happy with that. I think that's okay. People were gonna say, oh, the game's too easy. Shh, let people have fun. I don't wanna hear about how easy the game is. People are here to grind, grind, get better gear, see bigger numbers, keep grinding. Kill bosses in five seconds. It's nothing new. It's what Diablo 4 has been around in about since it was released. Now barbarians are doing it. So it's like, oh, red flag, half the nerf. Just let it, let it slide. Collect valuable analytical data as a company. Blizzard, I'm talking to you, not the audience. And then use that for a patch halfway through the season or towards the end of the season and say, okay, we collected all of this feedback from all of these players using all of these interactions. And we're going to use that to make a strong decision forward as to how to change it, balance it a bit and make it more diverse. Although it's pretty diverse now. One overpowered thing that isn't tied to a single skill that you can proc with any skill and just let it go. So I don't know. They have a couple of choices here on what they can do. So I am curious to see how this plays out. Give me your thoughts and feedback. I think this is a really interesting topic for sure here because even things like attack speed are like ways to scale this that aren't direct, but they are direct based on how we're proccing overpower. So there's a lot here to kind of wrap your head around. I don't want to get into the barbarian stuff too much because this is more like a general Diablo 4 video talking about how every class should be viewing something as the barbarian in its current state here with how broken it currently is. And again, I hate using the word broken, but I think we have to have a discussion in the comment section. What can we do? And hopefully someone smart, I guess, didn't want to say smart, but someone that has some sway can take the feedback, I've done this in other games before and it's worked pretty damn well, and they apply it into the game, or they at least apply it to their quality assurance and their testing, so in the future, we don't have situations where one skill has a thousand percent scaling and all builds are now being revolved around them. So that's gonna conclude this video. This got heavy, this got deep for sure. I said some things, you heard some things, I'm curious what your response is going to be. Hit it in the comment section, like the video, share the video. I want the feedback for sure. If you enjoy this content, smash the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell. We got some bangers coming out for season two. I look forward to seeing you there.